The United Auto Workers Union went on strike after failing to reach new contracts before last night's deadline with Detroit's big three automakers, General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis, the parent company of Chrysler. At midnight, UAW members walked out of three plants. NBC's Jay Gray has the details from one of those plants, the Ford Assembly location in Wayne, Michigan. Well, the targeted walkouts began at midnight and continue now into the midday. It started at this Ford plant in Wayne, just outside of Detroit, as well as a GM plant in Missouri and a Stellantis plant, which builds Chrysler vehicles in Ohio. Take a look at the picket line behind me. And right now, just under 13,000 of the United Auto Workers, uh, 145,000 employees have gone from the assembly line to the picket line. This is part of a new strategy never uh, done before by the union. They call it a stand-up strike where they are just targeting certain work groups within certain plants with the idea leaders say to keep the uh, automakers kind of guessing and wondering where the strike may go next. And they say they do have the ability and likely will expand this strike as it continues to go on. Now, an issue here is obviously pay the union wanting a 40 percent raise over the next four years, but they also want more pension benefits and they want more job security. They say they want full pay for a four day work week. And what the automakers have said is that those demands are just too, their words, extreme. They say they are willing to provide a double digit pay raise, that they will increase pensions and they'll offer some more days off as far as vacation or personal time off, but that the four day work week for full pay is a non-starter, that that is not going to happen as far as they can, are concerned. So you can see both sides here very much uh, at odds and very far apart, both saying as the talks broke down yesterday that neither was negotiating in good faith. If there's any good news in all of this, it does look like they are willing to get back to the bargaining table, and that could happen as early as today. That's the latest from here in Wayne, Michigan. I'm Jay Gray. Now back to you. Meanwhile, the president spoke about the strike this afternoon, saying that the auto industry has posted record profits that haven't been shared fairly. President Biden says that he supports the union and he supports unions generally, saying that they lead to more fair pay and better working conditions.